Hello everyone. It's prestigious to be present at C3S for international webinar. First of all, my heartfelt thanks to Director Kamrar Aras Vasan sir for this wonderful opportunity. Thanks to Bala for his introductory remark and thanks to LB Krishnan sir for his wonderful opening remarks. In this webinar, we will discuss about space development of China and its implications for India. Humans began exploring land, sea and ocean and now with the advancement of technology we are looking deep into the space. China being one of the ancient civilization on earth has its historical observation of space and even today its culture revolves around its lunar calendar. From the history we could see that in 970 AD flying arrows was invented by Feng Jisheng which is a kind of a firecracker we are using in our festivals. In 16th century, Van Hu made a rocket propelled chair where the base of the chair was tied using these flying arrows. He sat on the chair and tried to propel into the sky. But the result was negative. We could understand how fascinating the space is for China. With this evolving history, Chiang Fei-shen kickstarted China's space program and he is called as father of nation's ballistic missile and space program. By the return of Chinese scientists from US in 1956, ballistic missile program has begun. Since 1956 till the end of 20th century, the formation of different departments of China have paved a way to successful establishment of China's National Space Administration in 1993. China's space program can be understood in three major categories such as military, political and economic views of space. Space development will give the information superiority as well as it gains the political and military benefits. Space-based applications are providing both social and economical benefits since the applications were widely used in present days information age. In this presentation, we will discuss about China's space developments as well as its advantage in utilizing its information superiority in space diplomacy. Additionally, we will also discuss about China's 5-meter apparatus spherical telescope, space-based solar power, and ultra-fast travel to figure out the clear picture of China's space program in upcoming decades. China's recent space development can be seen through six major categories such as space transportation program, Earth observation satellites, Beidou navigation satellite, manned space flight program, and Chang'e lunar exploration, and finally Tian Wen 1 Mars exploration program. China enhanced its space exploration capacity by its independent innovation and its access to outer space. It made constant improvement in its space infrastructure and smooth implementation of major space projects. Space transportation system of China, long March rocket family Changchun plays a vital role in placing the satellites and modules in the designated orbit. Earlier development of long March rocket family from long March 1 to 4 has the same future as that of Dongfeng missiles such as DF-4 and DF-5 which is IRBM and ICBM missiles respectively. But later, considering to maximize the payload, new generation rockets adopted cryogenic propellant. The payload capacity of new generation Long March 8 and 9 were focused to attain super heavy lift capacity. Is there any necessity for increasing its capacity? Let us find its answer at the end of this presentation. Secondly, Chinese government initiated High Definition Earth Observation Satellite Program in 2010. The main objective of this program is to utilize sufficient near real-time observation data. Accordingly, to achieve this objective, several High Definition Earth Observation Satellites along with weather satellites, ocean observation satellites, resource satellites, remote sensing satellites, topographic mapping satellites and super view satellites were placed in designated lower, medium and geosynchronous orbit. These satellites made a great contribution in city planning, weather forecasting, climate variation observation, ocean monitoring, environment and disaster management. China is also intended towards improving global and regional cooperation on earth observation data for public benefits. The economic and social benefits of these high definition earth 
observation satellite based application have been noticeably advanced thirdly beidou navigation system is china's indigenous global navigation system started providing global service since december 2015 35th satellite of beidou 3 was launched on june 23rd 2020 and commissioned on August 3rd, 2020. Since 2000, China has launched 53 Beidou satellites where it employed a three-step strategy for developing all-weather, all-time high-accuracy positioning, navigation and timing for global users. Beidou 1 has initially provided its service to mainland users and then Beidou 2 has improved its coverage to Asia-Pacific users. And finally, Beidou 3 achieved in providing global service. Thus how Beidou has improved its service and it achieved its global service in 2020. Fourthly, Tian Gong program, which was earlier named as Project 921-2, it was begun in 1992. It has three phase where it places the target vehicle in the first, establish the laboratory in second and host their taikonauts in the station in the third. They achieved all three stages and was, was a stable space station which is in the sky and it will be the one till 2025 and it will be the one which is going to be stably there after the drop of ISS. Fifthly, Chang'e Lunar Exploration Program. China scheduled its lunar exploration in four phases. From 2007 till 2010, Phase 1 has achieved a lunar orbital mission by launching Chang'e 1 and Chang'e 2. In Phase 2, it achieved a soft landing by Chang'e 3 and Chue Chiao 1 as an orbital satellite and Chang'e 4 as a soft landing satellite. It made its first ever soft landing on the far side of the moon landed in Von Korman with U22. In phase 3 is scheduled to collect and return the samples to the earth through the launch of Tang A5. By the end of the 2020, this launch may take place. And finally, in the fourth phase, it intends to establish International Lunar Research Station named INSEAD 2 Research Resource Utilization System. It is focused to practice of collecting, processing, storing, and use of material manufactured on astronomical objects. It is said that it may store the extracted resources from asteroids and moon, and it may process it, and it may produce as a product or bring it back to Earth. So this is how the China's lunar exploration program has been scheduled. Possibly the processed material can also brought to Earth or can create it as a new product. What is a new product? We will discuss it soon. Tian 1 finally is the sixth uh, category in this timeline. When we see Tian 1, one interplanetary mission to Mars launched on July 23rd, 2020, which consists of an orbiter, deployable camera, lander, and rover. In September 2020, Tianwen 1 have completed its second mid course correction and deployed camera which took a selfie which of the transiting Tianwen 1. And also, it tested its Wi Fi connection of the Tianwen 1, then it's correcting its second mid course and it's said to be a successful till now. In 2020 July, it the month has become as a Mars mission month. The United Arab Emirates have also sent its Hope Orbiter 
and the US has launched its Mars mission with Perseverance rover and a flying kind of a helicopter drone attached to it. All these three missions will reach Mars by February 2021. Thus, upon the success of Tianwen 1 objectives, China will achieve the major milestone in deep space exploration. With all this advancement in space, China's space diplomacy is reaching the countries in the world in Beidou coordinates. China is gaining its information superiority through its space programs. As a result, it is harvesting economic, social, and strategic benefits. Scholars around the world questions about why China increases its heavy lift capability and was it going to manufacture from materials that it collects from asteroids, lunars, and Mars surface. Some of the possible answers were pointing towards China's recent developments and innovations and schedules for space development projects such as space-based solar power, improvement of quantum technology, and 500 meter apparatus spherical telescope. Therefore, these space developments of China are heading towards sustainable deep space exploration where it could harness energy, extract resources from asteroids, lunar, and Mars surface to develop the record material and look deep into space exploration. In 2015, China expressed its intention to build a space-based solar power station approximately 35,000 km away from Earth and in geosynchronous Earth orbit. This, this is the place where the photovoltaic cell is capable of generating 40 times more power when in space than Earth-based solar cells. With huge solar panels generated, the power will then be sent via microwaves or laser beams was then targeted to the ground stations as a receiving stations and then these receiving stations will then channelized towards supplying these energies to the cities. In the primary phase, 100 kilowatts of energy production was targeted to be achieved by 2025 by successful completion of space-based solar power at a lower Earth orbit and further the targets were set for 2035 to increase its capability from 100 kilowatt to 100 megawatt. By 2050, China schedules to construct its first commercial level space-based solar power at geosynchronous Earth orbit and then its, its ambition is said to be fulfilled. Apart from other claims uh, for extracting helium-3 as a future fuel, these space-based resources such as silicon, and aluminium at lunar asteroid and and uh, the mass surface could possibly be collected for the purpose of building these solar power production units asteroids and near earth objects makes it easier for spacecraft to dock park and separate and do the process of the extraction of resources that it requires therefore Upon completion of the INSAT-2 Research Laboratory at the base of Moon, it could act as a base to further produce these photovoltaic cells and to support the expanding the capacity of the SBSP and thus scholars have already begun integrating further and innovating the idea of creating these SBSP photovoltaic cells using the customized 3D printing. So the raw materials for doing this 3D printing can be achieved by the extraction of the resources from asteroid, lunar and Mars surfaces. Thus, further, these resources can be accumulated and be produced you know further it could produce the photovoltaic cell that could generate 
the solar energy and this energy can be channelized and be sent to the receiving stations at the earth and further these energies can be utilized. This is the objective that is set to be achieved in nearby 2025 and it said to be completed in 2045. Having said all this, on the other side, 500 meter apparatus spherical telescope has begun its first flight, uh, first light in September 2016. After three years of testing and commissioning period, it was declared as fully operations only on 11 January 2020 this year. It is the world's largest filed apparatus radio telescope and this this as achieving or by picking up many coordinates and also finding some discoveries in space quest projects were also one of the unique indigenous development of china that sends photons of data through laser beams thus improving its hack free data transmission for the future space programs when other projects working at harnessing energies and resources at space, Quest project could support the communication upon further upgradation. Notably, other innovative products and ideas such as uh, ultra-fast global travel that works on hypersonic flying technology and reusable carrier rockets are aiming to transport passengers to any destination in the world within one hour. This ambitious space development goal of China is said to be scheduled to achieve in 2045. Notably, China's private startup iSpace is aiming to flight test its reusable rocket named Hyperbola 2 in 2021, where Hyperbola 1 was set flight tested in July 2019. China's anti-satellite capability was demonstrated in 2007 and in 2013 it demonstrated its robotic arm which has a capability to grab the satellites which could be a destructive. Since this anti-satellite capability is seen as threat in 2019, India test fired a missile from Earth to shoot down one of its own satellites for demonstrating a strategic capability in space. Having said that, where do India stand in space program? India has its own and equivalent lunar mission named Chandrayaan and Mars mission named Mangalyaan and deep space mission objectives that was listed to be achieved in near future. It is remarkable to mention India's first solar mission Aditya L1 is also in the streamline for the launch in 2022. In this information age, development of space technology is becoming an asset for the nation and in return its benefits were seen in strategic, social and economic returns. Therefore, China's satellites and planned bases in Moon were building its Belt and Road in space. Thank you so much for this opportunity. Thank you so much for C3S and thank you so much for Commodore R.S. Vasan sir for this wonderful opportunity to present about space developments of China and its implications for India.